Four and one without Kyrie Irving. Kevin Durant has been playing amazing. Number one in net rating since Kyrie Irving left. Number one in net rating since he left. Number one in defensive rating since he left. The last game he played, they were giving up 118.8 points per game. Then Kyrie left. After that, now they're only giving up 91.2 points per game. And they have a new coach and everything. So a new system completely. It doesn't look like they're playing pickup basketball anymore. They're actually playing defense. So maybe Coach Vaughn has their ear now, unlike Steve Nash, who could not grab the ear of Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving from the beginning. Now, Joe Sy, will we see Kyrie Irving play again? That's the huge question that I have. Will we see this young man get back on the court and play basketball? That's something that I want to see happen for Kyrie Irving. The situation is spiraled out of control. It's Kyrie Irving has lost deals and things of that nature. It's just going bad for Kyrie Irving right now. So Joe Sy on Saturday at the Clippers game, he said, hey, Kyrie Irving, he made some progress, but he has to truly show us that he's sorry and that he's repentant and that, you know, he doesn't think the way that I think that he thinks. So Kyrie has to show us that he is truly sorry before he can come back to the team and be an active participant with the Brooklyn Nets. So that is huge right there. So right now I just wonder what is the standard that they will set for Kyrie and say, Hey, this is what you will have to do to show me that you're sorry. This is what you have to do. We know they listed out six things that he needs to do, but I feel like even if Kyrie does those six things, at the end of the day, they probably won't accept it. They might say, hey, you have to show us that you're truly sorry some more. So this can go on and on, and they can get real embarrassing once you do six items that you give a grown man to do, and he does it, and you say, hey, we can't accept you right now. It can get pretty ugly. Now, do I believe in the Hebrew Israelite doctrine? Not at all. Do I think Kyrie believes in it? Not at all. Kyrie Irving is not a Hebrew Israelite. He already said that Kyrie Irving is ominous. He takes every single religion known to man and if you have been following Kyrie for a year just a year not his whole career just a year you've been following Kyrie for a year or at least two years but I would just say at least one year you have been following Kyrie you can see that Kyrie pulls from so many different religions he has been doing this for a while now at a time I thought he was a Christian at a time I thought he was in comedic science at times I thought he was a Muslim at a time I thought he was a Hebrew Israelite I'm like what does Kyrie truly believe when it comes to his faith when it comes to believing what does he truly believe about spirituality what does he believe about faith about God about these things, like what theological stance does Kyrie have? I was just interested in that because he always puts it out there. But I'm like, where do you stand theologically? So he made it clear that he's ominous. He takes every single religion, puts it in one pot, stirs it up. He takes the good that he likes from the religion and he adds it to his belief. And what I think he took out the documentary, I said this before, I don't want to say it again, that Kyrie Irving probably believe that he is a descendant of Jacob and that he is a Jew, that he is a Hebrew. That's, that's what he believes. I think he hasn't said it yet, but I think that's the part that he grabbed. Cause if you go back to the video I did a year ago about this, Kyrie Irving said like, okay, God will judge racist America and racist, racist Europe. Like God judge them now. Don't play with the truth. Don't play with God's chosen people. Those things. So I'm like, okay, maybe Kyrie believes that he is a descendant of Jacob. That's what I get from what he is tweeting. But Kyrie Irving, so when he made that tweet about the documentary, about Hebrews and Negroes, my initial thoughts were like, hey, Kyrie Irving believes that he's from, um, he's the descendant of Jacob. That's what I thought Kyrie believes. And that's what I think that Kyrie believes. So I don't think he takes everything from the documentary he already said that he didn't so we need to get past that Kyrie did say that he was sorry and that he apologized but even though you put his faith in all these different religions all these different 
belief systems. I pray and hope that he puts his faith in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior, the risen one who died on cross for our sins, rose on the third day, appears to over 500 people. His the historical account of Christ, the gospels are just so reliable. You can trust, you can believe, you can hope in these scriptures, accurate account of his life, what he did, what he taught, what he believed, how he rose. Now he gives eternal life to those who believe. So I pray that Kyrie gets on that. Okay. That's what I want Kyrie to get on. And if you want to watch the documentary, you should check out unspoken documentary. That is a great documentary to watch. Just, um, I'll link that in the description below, but right now do the Brooklyn Nets are the Brooklyn Nets better with or without Kyrie Irving. That's the question on the table. And will we ever see Kyrie Irving back in a Brooklyn Nets Jersey again? That's a huge question, man. Now we have to wait and see if this will happen or not.